Okay, chicos. We have been working in this phase of our description cycle with describing internal and external characteristics. Uh, we've been doing that with the use of our characters to describe what they look like, what they are like, and how they feel. Before we get into creating our own individual characters, we're going to do a quick little review of one of our characters, Kesa, La Mesa. This is before we were making them nice and big. Okay. Voy a describir la actividad en español. Okay, ojos aquí. Esta actividad es una competencia. Competencia? Competition. Es una competencia para dos personas o tres personas. Una persona dice información, información sobre el personaje. Información correcta o no es, no tiene, no lleva, no quiere, bla, 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 bla. Sí o no. ¿Vale? Pero solamente un poquito de información. No mucho, como, um, hey, la persona no dice, pero en español, Hank is a carrot with a pink bottom and a green top. No. Una persona dice, Hank is a carrot. Persona dos, es su turno. Hank tiene pelo verde. Persona tres, uh, la parte abajo es rosado. Persona uno, es mi turno. Hank no está feliz. Persona dos, Hank no está triste. Persona 3. Hank está furioso. Están tomando turnos para decir información. Cuando es mi turno y yo I Yo no sé. Yo soy el, la perdedora. Y estas dos continúan. Y cuando una persona no puede continuar, no hay más información, hay un campeón, un ganador. Chicos. Turn to the person next to you. Explain the game, the review game, to them in English. Make sure that they understood it. Double check with each other on some of those points. Focada. <coughs> Tres, dos, uno, silencio. Whose partner sounded like they really understood the instructions for this little triangle review? Your partner sounded really confident? Yeah. Okay. Emma, tell me what she said. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Uh, you look at the picture, you have two people or three, or whatever. Yep. Um, then you have to say something about the picture. Just one just, little thing. Yeah. And then you just go on your sheet. Yeah. 
And what happens if I can't think of anything else that they are? You're out. a loser. Loser. Yeah. So you had a dog. No. 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 Okay, Chico. <laughs> Por favor. Sí. Yes. Formen grupos de dos o tres personas y vamos a hablar de qué es a la mesa. Toda la información de qué es a la mesa. Acción. Qué es a la mesa. ¿Qué es la mesa? La mesa es un grupo. Sí, ¿qué es la mesa? Es la mesa. La mesa. No, es bonita. Queso la mesa. Viste. No, Queso la mesa. la Queso la mesa no es Queso la mesa no es rosa. 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 Queso la mesa en inglés, llama. En español, llama. I can't see what else. No, what else is this? She just lost it. What's the table? table? It's just the table. 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 I want your knees and shoulders facing the front. Your posture. Muy bien. Okay. Ahora yo voy a explicar cómo crear un personaje individual. Cada estudiante va a crear un personaje, un objeto con personalidad, ¿sí? En el pasado inventamos muchos personajes para la clase, pero hoy cada persona va a inventar, va a crear un personaje. Pero chicos, ustedes, ustedes no van a escribir la historia, no. Solamente características de la persona, del personaje, ¿ok? Primero Escriben características. Primero, primero escriben características de personalidad, empleo, accesorios, um, su pasado, su pasado. Um, Armas, no sé. Entonces, cuando la descripción esté completa, pasas por aquí, dice, señora, ¿aceptas o no aceptas mi descripción? Y si acepto la descripción, Puedes hacer el arte. El arte es como animado, 
sí, es como arte animado con ojos muy grandes, expresiones muy obvias, um, mucho color. Esta persona, pues, olvidó una parte importante que es delinear en negro, al final delinear en negro para que resalta, ¿sí? Pero antes de colorear, primero es la descripción y ¿Qué necesitan describir? Déjame explicar. Ok. Primero, its name and what the object is. Entonces, descripción de su aspecto físico. Like, Um, yeah. Your description should be good enough that I can draw it at least reasonably well based on how you described it. If the only thing you put for description is big, that's not very helpful to me. I should be able to draw it fairly well based on your description. <laughs> Pablo, is there a chance I might ask, no. already answer your question before you ask it? Is there, okay. Put it in your pocket and save it, okay? So really, really thorough physical description. Here are ideas for what you could include on that description. Positive and negative personality traits. Things it likes and dislikes. Give it a job. No, we're creating characters, but I want you to think about it like the, you know, even though they're everyday objects, humans are not a relevant thing in their world. How many of you ever had seen like veggie tales? Okay, so, you know, it's all these vegetables that they have jobs, they have responsibilities, they have families, they have friends. They, you know, cucumbers aren't only friends with cucumbers. Peas aren't only friends with peas. Some of them are French, I think. And peas and cucumbers. They could, I think they could be. Um, but even though, obviously, like, they're in a human house, the humans don't really play a role in the story that you're creating. Right, the objects are the human role. They are the characters. So don't make everything be based on, I'm scared the human is going to eat me. Right, that's not really, like, it's too obvious. We want them to have a little more personality than that. Yeah. It would, like, normal size, like, a grape, would that be, like, if you say normal size, is that a physical, like, a description, like? As far as size, or... normal size is, is fine. Okay. If you say it's big or enormous or small or teeny tiny, then give me something to scale it to like as big as a quarter or as big as a skyscraper. Were you writing the description in Spanish or English? You were writing the descriptions in English. Oh, can I do it? You can do it in Spanish. But the point right now is for us to develop a character that we'll use. Hold on, Chicos. I'm going to explain this to you. And I want you to listen carefully. So why why spend time right now? Because this, this part will take five or ten minutes to come up with a good character. The reason that I think it's worth us taking that much time to do that in English is because we're going to really get to know some of these characters later. So I don't care if right now we're writing the description in English because eventually it will be in Spanish with a really full and complex story that we'll just keep adding to. So are we not drawing? No. Until after this is approved by the ah. Okay, so the job is going to be a person kind of job, like a cashier at Walmart, or I don't these all have to be veggies. No, no, just object. an Anything. object. Not an animal, not a person. I want an apple. It can Pizza. be an apple, but an apple, so don't let your apple's job be being an apple. 
Oh, it could be a stay-at-home apple, or it could be retired, but... An apple that has a worm inside. Okay, but it has to have a job. Job? Like... Mingyi. That's not his job. <laughs> you got me good first. We're, we're going to talk a little bit more, okay? I think he understands. I think he's just giving me a hard time. It has to have a fear. The fear might be related to its problem situation. Getting... Being a teacher is a fearing a student. Okay. Not me. Construction. Some of you, I'm concerned, are not going to do this correctly because you're not being good listeners. Which is what I call my three-year-old. Oof. Be good listeners. Jackson. Gotta have a fear. You're creating for this character a problem situation. Something that it's happening or it's going through that will need to be resolved later, but you do not resolve it. You are not writing the story. You are only putting it into a sticky situation that we as a class will figure out how to resolve later. Uh, it's a little like task, but like for a job, does it have to be like a, a human job? Or can it, be like... it could be a fake job, but it can't just be... Like, if it's a vase, I don't want its only job to be holding flowers. No, I get that. It could be, like, flower delivery boy. I mean, like, or florist. But it doesn't have to. We'll talk. Okay. We'll talk, yeah. It has to have a secret. Makes for better stories. And then at the end, any other description that you need. What you got? You may only make one character. A lot of people have asked, can we make stories that overlap with our friends? You can, but I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to pick both of those characters when it comes to the narration cycle and we're actually writing stories. We're also not going to write them about every single character. We're going to pick out the ones with the richest, most developed personality and situation that would make for a good story. So picture it as if you were pitching a show to me, and you're trying to come up with an interesting backstory for a character and put them in a sticky situation that we'd be fascinated to try and help them work through. Yes? Can you take like two separate things? And Absolutely. It can be completely wonky. Uh -huh. Four. Okay. Anything else? No. You have the entire class period to work on it today. If you have English questions, hold on, hold on. If you have questions, come see me at my desk. Don't yell at me from the back of the room. I'm not a puppy. <laughs> All right. Come see me over here where I am waiting for because I'll have a ton of people coming through to get approval. You cannot draw until it's approved. And even then, just like these, it's the object that is the focus. It is big and bold. The color is fully saturated through. And in the end, it's outlined. I mean, even this one probably could do with a little bit of a darker outline. Wait, can we draw like what's happening, like, what the problem is? No. Or we I can't do my story. You can't draw the thing, but the you know the story I idea is what gets done first. You draw just the item, and eventually, if we pick it for the story, we'll be doing a whole full on like storyboards through the whole story. Okay, you may begin working. I have a question. Thank you for coming up to ask me. Oh, so when we write it together and work on it, then it will go. Oh, those are coconuts. Coconuts. 